Hi, I'm Diane Southerd, and this is your DNA News, coming to you today live from Egypt, which seems to be very appropriate considering the news that I'm sharing today. Family Tree DNA has released a new and incredibly improved mitochondrial DNA tree. Now, my origins in mitochondrial DNA started here in Egypt. I was working on the DNA of some ancient Egyptian mummies, and we were doing mitochondrial DNA work. And at that time, in 1998, 1999, and really up till now, all of the information we have about mitochondrial DNA, its structure, the relationships that all of these different groups have to each other has been from academia, which has been incredible, right? But it has been this kind of disparate groups of people working all together as we do in academia to publish and to share and to collaborate. And it has been an incredible thing. But Family Tree DNA has taken it upon itself as the first really commercial company to try to push forward this building of the mitochondrial DNA tree much bigger and farther than academia had been able to do up to this point. And it is really incredible to uh, review and see all that Family Tree DNA has been able to accomplish in their own collaborations with many other people. Uh, to accomplish uh, just the filling out of the mitochondrial DNA tree to identify and document all of these different branches. And it's just, it's really exciting. So um, I'm so excited to be a part of genetic genealogy at this time and to be able to, um, to see it move forward in this way. So I'm just really excited to review all that's coming out about mitochondrial DNA and how it can help us find our female ancestors. And uh, that, that's it. So go take a look at, at what Family Tree DNA has got going on over there. And I'll see you next time. This is Diane Southerd for your DNA News.